how long would you say the conveyancing process sh should take? It varies massively whether it's leasehold or freehold. The leasehold property, there are additional elements. You've got third parties in the sense that you've got to refer to managing agents, you know, freeholders. The other thing at the moment, I won't say issues with leasehold, but historic problems with leaseholds that now have to be fixed because lenders are picking up on it. For example, ground rent is a massive issue at the moment. Well, the cladding for the EWS wild forms and stuff like that. I've got the Building Safety Act, which if I'm honest, is not a very well written act at all. Right. The legislation is poor. It's putting the onus on the solicitor to answer planning issues and safety issues, which we're not qualified to do. You know, I think with a straightforward freehold, eight to 10 weeks is probably realistic to get that. I mean, it depends, you know, if, if you've got solicitors and agents all working together that you can reduce those times. But if you're looking at realistically, probably, you know, eight to 10 weeks, leasehold, it varies. You're looking probably at least 12 weeks.